you just welcome somebody to the left to the right? I mean, let's just get comfortable here. Welcome somebody to the left or to the right. Now, listen. A well is a place of connection. My father and the Lord mentioned this. A well is a place of connection. Yes, this well, according to the New Testament, is within you. Because Jesus, in the book of John 7, Jesus cried out on the last day of the feast, saying, Whoever thirsts, let him come unto me. And out of his belly shall flow what? Wells, rivers, springs, cisterns of living water. But this place, now there is a connection also. Have you observed that everywhere a well was dug, an altar was built? Yeah. Everywhere, Abraham in his lifetime dug seven wells. He built four altars. The very popular well of Jacob that Jesus at John 4 met that woman. It was not exactly recorded that Jacob dug a well. The only thing we read was he built an altar. That was the only thing we read. There is a connection between wells and altars. So somebody says, what is the whole force about ancient wells? Are you trying to make us become ancestors? Are you trying to make us go back in time? Are you saying the new is not profitable? Are you saying all what we are doing right now does not make sense? That is not what we are saying. Why was the first move? I'm still staying on the premise of Genesis 26. That you, that's why I'm not reading the scripture all over again. So I'm just taking it up from there. Why did Isaac have to dig, redig the old wells? Why did he not make a first move to go and build a new well? Why ancient well? First, new does not necessarily signify better. New does not necessarily signify advancement. Because the power of a well, what makes a well a well is the water beneath. Did you get that? What makes a well profitable is the water beneath. It is not the presence of the well itself. Whether it is ancient or it is modern, whether it is the past or the old, what we want is water. But why did Isaac make that first move to dig a well? Because it takes absolutely lesser stress to redig an ancient well than outrightly digging a new one. Because all we want is water. Somebody say water. water. Whether old or new, we want water. And if water has been present in a well at the time, there is a, in fact, it is almost an 100% likelihood in probability that when you redig again, you always find water. What does that tell us? If a pattern has worked for the men of old, it is applicable all to time. If a principle, if a precept works for fathers of faith, it is applicable all to time. Time does not invalidate principles. Time does not invalidate concepts that have been built. Time does not invalidate revelation. There is no new revelation that will invalidate what has premised the foundation of several ministries that have thrived. What do we want? Water. Is somebody following me? It takes much lesser stress to redig an ancient well than outrightly building a new one. So you might, you might understand, when Isaac came by the valleys of Gerah, his first move was to go and redig. Is somebody getting this analogy this evening? To redig an ancient well. New does not necessarily signify better. What we want is water. If a well does not have water, it becomes a prison. Joseph was thrown in one. Jeremiah was thrown in another. If your life is experiencing any form of bondage, <laughs> water. Somebody say water. If your life is experiencing any form of unproductivity, somebody say water. Water is absent. Is the well present? Yes, it is present. It might have been covered up. I will come back to that. Or it could just might be. It's not covered. There is no water flowing right there. Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, you will find it very interesting. The Philistines did what? They came and filled, they filled with sand. <laughs> sand. Why? If the issue there was ownership, was a natural, rational, logical thing to do, you condone off the space. You build a fence. You build a fortress around it. You put military men around it. You still have the well. You still have access to the water. But the issue was not ownership. The issue there was the water. That's why they introduced death. Somebody say death. 
The issue there was not ownership. It was not contention for ownership. The issue there was to truncate that water because the economic, social, economic, religious, every importance of that water goes beyond that well. That is why everything the Father and the Lord said, what makes it that is the water. The well is a place of connection. What brings the people there? Water. Is somebody following me this evening? The well is a place of nourishment. What nourishes the people? The water. The well also is a place of possession. Now, the people you love to eat today, the headsmen, I'm sure you've read a whole lot about them. Make no pretenses. There are full and Christians. So don't think every headsman. <laughs> Sir, you're a missionary, Abby. You can prove me wrong. There are full and Christians. So, me, disabuse of mind from the, whatever you've heard. Headsmen, yes, we know there are terrorists. Yeah? But there are Christians, even in that tribal, in that ethnic stock. That is, by the way. But for, for a nomad, for a nomadic people, for people, pastoralists, people who live, you know, the nomadic lifestyle, people who move from place to place, anywhere a well is dug, they take possession. Are you following me? Anywhere a well is dug, it becomes, they take it for possession. That is why they give it a name. In the other part of that text, it says what? Isaac did what? Renamed it the names, the father, I'm coming back to there. If Isaac renamed, that means the names were changed. What is the purpose of a name? A name is an identity. I'm told you today, today is an ancestry. You carry your son name. It's not just the name. It is everything that defines you as a family. That is what that well represents. The fact that that well had a name means that there is an ancestry here. That's why most times it follows with an altar. Because my identity is not separated from my faith. I'm a Christian. It affects and impacts everything I do from enterprise to ministry. The moment they dig a well, they put an altar. Once they name the well, they put an altar. Why? Because my identity is not separated from my faith. And what happens? There is a well, there is an altar. In no time, people will settle around that well. It becomes a community of people. You mentioned Beersheba. Beersheba today is the third largest city in the, in the state of Israel. Where did it start from? A well. It started from a well. Abraham dug a well at Beersheba. Today is the third largest city in the nation of Israel. A well is a place of possession. When you have trouble <laughs> taking territory, subduing systems, check the well. Check the water that flows from the well. The Philistines came and introduced what? Sand. Sand in the farm is good. Sand in the well is contamination. Sand in the well is pollution. Sand in the farm is manure. Sand in the well is contamination. The world accepts it. It's not okay for us. The world celebrates it. It's not applicable to me. It's a trend globally recognized and acceptable as a lifestyle, as a practice. My own value system is drawn from somewhere else entirely. Dead. Somebody say dead. <laughs> when you have a problem taking possession, ah, dead. The purity of your well is contaminated. The strength, the appraisal of every well is measured by the purity of the water that is right in there. Bishop mentioned the fact that the deeper you go, the cleaner the water is. But when death is introduced, there is contamination. Dirt. What are dirt? When opinions begin to matter over doctrine, dirt. When sexual sin is now being branded as weakness, death. Oh, somebody's not following here. The world has all kinds of propositions right now for the body of Christ. When sin is now being branded and called wokeness, you call yourself the woke generation. Somebody say, death. When holiness is being underplayed, death. All kinds of propositions. They say holiness is just a concept. It is not attainable. When the doctrine of grace is amplified over purity, death. And you know the way death is being piled up? 
He comes from a shovel, pa, T, into the well, pa. That's how he starts. It's usually not noticeable. One shovel after the other, next shovel after the other, the well keeps filling up. The water is still there. It keeps living little by little. You might carry that form of godliness. You still think God is present, but death is being introduced. Other systems around you are communicating a different value. Aside the one that the victory, the scripture is saying. And you think you, you still have it. You still have it. You still vibrate. And you think the Holy Spirit is still there. You think the power is still there? Someday, you wake up and discover your well is filled up. Isaac renamed those wells. The exact name his father's gift them. He called sin, sin. They did not give it a catchy word. They did not call nakedness body positivity. Uh -huh. I know that one can relate to you. Eh? Self- they did not call selfishness self-love. Are these not the things that trend on Twitter? All the very numerous and the very fancy hashtags you see on the daily? Hmm. Your generation really needs to watch what communicates faith to you. Before faith comes by hearing. In this age, not just hearing. Hearing now is inclusive of seeing, reading. Uh -huh. Faith comes by everything. You become what you behold. Dirt. One shovel to the next. One shovel to the next. One shovel to the next. Before you know it, water is gone. The issue here is the water. What the Philistines came for is the water, not necessarily the well. Because you know the presence of that well, the water beneath, we create a community. That is why it is always very tough to find somebody that carries something. You will naturally see people gravitate towards them. Because why? There is a well within that produces a kind of resource that attracts people. Headsmen will come to the well. Livestock will come to the well to drink water. As they are drinking water, they will interact. As they are interacting, they will meet each other. They will marry. As they, I mean, all kinds of, as they are discussing, transactions will be going on. It's also an economy. Hmm, it's also an economy. When there is dryness around you, when it seems as if there is no economy around you, watch your water. What's happening to your well within? What's happening to your well within? When you are struggling with something, what's happening to your well within? When you are struggling with career, what's happening to your well? That water in there is a solution provider. Let me give you a, let me give you a short story. I tell stories a lot because I teach young people. When I was still a banker, there was this very tough reconciliation that has been passed around. Very tough. We're looking for some funding and something million now. It was nowhere. Everybody looked, looked, looked and looked. They reconciled all general ledger accounts. Nobody could find. I looked and looked. Use all my management science knowledge. I saw nothing. Use every model. Gaussian, Pascal, name it. Any mathematician here? Statistician? Nothing worked. I saw nothing. And I was so frustrated. I was like, man. And that day, I remember I left the office in Marina. I was driving. I got on terminal and I was so angry. Ah! Those on. And I started speaking in tongues. I started speaking in tongues. I started speaking in tongues. I had no prayer points. I was just, as I got home, my wife was on mat leave then. I think we just had our second child. I sat on the seat in the living room watching TV. And my wife was just buying time. Okay, food will soon be ready. I was just buying time. And I drifted off. I just drifted off. Call it sleep, call it trance, call it whatever it is. All I knew was I had an encounter. And it's like somebody opened that software. I will never forget. Phoenix. I've left banking now. Seven good years. And he was scrolling that mouse. He was scrolling that mouse. Scrolling that mouse. Until the figure stuck out. And I woke up. Ha. Ha. What is this? What did I just see here? What did I just see here? I couldn't wait for the next morning to come. I was, oh my God. Is it not 4 a.m. yet? I normally get out of the house 4 a.m. The exact account I saw. I just flipped to that. Believe you me, children of God. Welcome, Prophet Adi Lohokon. A round of applause. Welcome, sir. Of Miracle Way Evangelical Ministries. The PFN president of Osho State. You're welcome, Daddy. Welcome, sir. Back to my story. As the IT guy part of the system, and I flipped my mouse on that same general ledger account, we never go there. We don't go there. As I scrolled down my mouse, I saw the money looking at me like this. 
when your life stops producing results, check your well. A well solves the problem of thirst. That is why people come right there. They flock around it. If your life on your job, on your career, you cannot solve problems any longer, you know what, you know what elevates you in the workspace, especially the capitalist system that we have around the world right now, is your ability to solve problems. Huh? Young people, listen to me. You had better remove this civil servant mentality from your head right now before you get out of school. Because the workspace right now is not friendly. It's not laughing. It's not joking. It is your capacity to solve problems. That's your appraiser. Enough of 10 not promotion. Oh, you work for 18 months on this level by default. So far, your appraiser, I see. They will move you to the next level. Generation of our parents, not anymore. That is the world you are coming to meet. You had better let the well inside you be flowing. Because some of these problems are going to put before you is <laughs> going to beat intellect. It's going to beat every academic knowledge. It will take the spirit of God. Your ability to solve problems makes a community to flock around you. It's not just a place to drink water. It is just a place of connection. The well also precipitates the formation of an altar. So the well that flows within you, the revelation that God gives you in your private place. I'm not, you know, thank God. My brother is a very major prayer convener. You know, thank God for prayer meetings. I convene a few myself. Huh. The one you do in your secret place, you and God. If there's something I've mastered to do in my life, in my life, you know, I was supposed to talk about Elisha and all of that. Maybe tomorrow we'll do all of that. If there's something, when I was starting out in this ministry model, it, thank God Bishop was here today. I mean, he told you the story. When he called me, I said, I, told you, I have to ordain you. I said, Sam, you need ordination. I told him, plain black. I can be that. I said, Sam, I don't need ordination. Because, yeah, the industry was waiting for me. The industry was waiting for me big time. From school, I was already, I was already producing music for major hip hop artists in the nation. Then I, w I couldn't wait to get to Lagos, and he was like, "No, I've seen something around you." And he made a statement. I said, he "Said, told you anywhere you stand, you never stand alone. There is always a community of young people around you." My mother is still alive. My father is late now. God rest his soul. He's still alive. You cannot count the number of people that will sleep in Toluwa's house in a day. You can't count them. She's always cooking. She's always cooking. Why? Because there is somebody that had a well. A well that was resourcing before the mass movement that you know me for today mass movement is officially 10 years by december 25 my first ever crusade happened in hesby bakare compound december 25 2002 alabasta box do you remember sir it will be 20 years this year that i started doing crusades so you know mass movement there was a 10 good years of obscurity before mass movement that you know what were we doing we are just believing God. We are not doing it for visibility. We are just praying, just loving on God, just worshiping in our closet. We were building the well between the, the well within us. So today, my father only schooled in UI, did his internship at UCH. My first career was in Seven Up Bottling Company, only only in Ibadan, for just a period of about eight months, and I left Ibadan. That is the only experience I have with Ibadan. When God sent me from Lagos, go to Ibadan, I go and raise me a people. The first question was, how will I do it, Lord? I'm not a pastor in any of the ministries. I don't have any. Yes, I know a couple of music ministers, but that is just not enough. Popularity does not do this. Being visible, because I even had a name. I was very prolific on Christian TVs all over Africa. Was not enough. God, what did I do? He reminded me, you have a well within you. Anywhere you stand, people flock with you. When I started out the mass movement in Oshobo 2013, I only needed to drive into Oshobo. I only drove into Oshobo. And I went to government technical college field because I remember all the secular shows used to hold there back in the days and I just stood there and I was just speaking in tongues okay God you said it will start from Oshun State I'm here right now how do you want to make this work somebody passed in the cab saw me went to tell another person I saw Tolucha on technical field we don't see Tolucha anyhow anywhere Tolucha appears something wants to happen the person had my number called me man of God sir somebody told me he saw you in technical is it true i said yes i'm right there right now sir what is happening i said something is happening join me there that was how we built build that massive i mean the eruption that happened on october 11th 2013. why somebody had a well that pure water let me use that word pure water somebody say pure water pure water pure water was flowing from when your life refuses to command results check your well I walked into the city of Ibadan with nothing. Social media was not even this prolific then. I'm, I'm, what, was the, what was the internet penetration as I then? Very low. Very, very low. I walked in. 
And today, your testimony is what God has seen. I have a problem right now. The problem is, I don't return back to a venue twice. I've used all the public venues. I've used all the stadiums. Nowhere to fill up again. It's a good problem. Why? Where? It started from one person. When the well within you is flowing, a community will flock around you. So don't be surprised. When today we all travel to redemption camp. I mean, you saw the crowd. I saw your post. That Thursday, all the uh, three kilometers was filled up. Please, when you come on Friday, go to old auditorium. There is a well. The water is fresh. He quenches thirst. He waters flock. He irrigates the farm. It can be used for any... That is why people keep running there. Have you seen what God has done in that place right now? The last time I was at the three-kilometer auditorium of my wife, I mean, we were on vacation in camp, and I was like, ah, babe, you need to see the auditorium. I, I mean, I need to take you there. It's, it's mind shifting. It's mind opening. You need to see before we leave this place. And while I was driving there, she only saw it from my wife. She said, stop, 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 stop. Guy, 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 stop. She said, stop. She removed her shoes. She removed her shoes. She said, go down from the car. Nailed down. I said, I will listen to the motor. We are still, still far. She said, this place, okay, let me check there. She started, started speaking in tongues. There is a well. The fathers of faith, how long have they died? Baba Allah died how many years ago? We've talked, I mean, extensively about piety today. Extensively. Now, let me tell my own side of the story. Bishop Mike told his own side. Let me tell my own side. The theology you see today was prophesied by piety. My mom had, my mom had issues. She just got married. And she was having issues conceiving. Every time she got pregnant, the thing came down. She, she would go through some form of demonic oppression and the thing would come down. But of course, this place was a mecca. There was a well. Somebody had good water, pure water, flowing right here. On Thursday, I remember very well. I was a kid. I was about six or five or seven. There about the entire city, whether you are deeper life, Anglican, whatever it is, does not matter. Everybody, everybody assembles here to hear sound teaching, sound doctrine. My mother came to see by heaven. And he asked, some, he asked some few questions. I had to go, as I was coming this morning, I had to go home to go and ask my mother. She told me this story when I was about 13. I had an encounter with Jesus. So to be accurate in what I will tell you, I had to go meet her this morning to, please tell me that story again. I want, I want to be accurate in what I will tell the people. And she was like, yes. He asked, Pelton asked her some few questions. And the power of the Holy Ghost just possessed him all of a sudden. He said, bring your head. And under the influence of the Holy Ghost, the man started touching all those places like he was pre-informed. And told and gave her this instruction. You will bear a child. You will be a son. When he starts showing musical prayers, leave him. Just leave him. When he starts showing competence in anything music driven, leave him. My hand is on him. I want to use him. Before... <laughs> He died in 1987. The burial I talked about, I was there. The burial Bishop Mike talked about, I was right there as a child in the car looking at what they were doing. It didn't make sense to me. But today I'm a living proof that a well was once here. A well I drank from. A well that produced me. A well is a place of productivity. Anywhere you have economic enterprise going on, it must produce wealth. It must produce abundance. But don't forget where I started from. You need to watch the dirt. Philistines are all around us. The world around us. <laughs> Every system that is communicating another value aside the one that is spoken of in the scripture, those are the Philistines. Their purpose is one and the same. Introduce dirt to contaminate your water. <laughs> Somebody say pure water. <laughs> When personal opinion is now being amplified as doctrine, beware. The one that bothers me the most, when sin is now being underplayed, presented as weakness, and the grace of God is being used to brand it so that you can continue in sin. <laughs> Shall we continue in sin and say grace should abound? That is the balance to every grace message you will ever hear. Always remember, I said, that. Because the purity of the water that flows from within you is what's going to determine how far God will take you. One thing I know that we did well was we were committed to purity. Even though our methodology was different. Now, old well, new well, the balance. Even though I had an air court, then it was an aberration for you to have an air court. 
Normally, if you see Toluchi, you know the way I dress. Either I'm in nika or I'm in jeans and I'm in hoodie. I remember that ah, I'm going to Elisha. I had to go and find these chino trousers. Because before people would receive my message, they could have passed us. Use uh, 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 that is the, so. If I am still cautious, how many years after? Imagine what the scenario was 1996, 1997. Our methodology was different, our approach they could not understand. I was a rebel, I will never forget one man of God and got on the radio and he was preaching. And my mom called me, told me, Show my people love him preaching. <laughs> and he, and you know, show long, I took my power, my so do do all. He's not a man, she this coat. I love one she, she, clinical crusade. And I was listening live on radio. Our methodology was different, but our pattern was ancient. <laughs> Purity was preserved. We gave ourselves to the ministry of prayer. They did not understand us, but we stayed with the old method. We did not discard their perception. Even my father could not understand me. So why should I expect another person's father to understand me? Because he could not understand why I would wear jeans. He could not understand why I would have an echo, why my skin is not sufficient. He could not understand why I keep bread. He was like, how can you, young man? But we were not stupid or foolish to discard. But they had something that worked for them. Oh my God, my father, God rest his soul. A man of prayer. Hey, my house here in Elisha is a, is a, oh, is it? Is a well, is an altar, is everything put together. There is a reservatory where he always prayed and sang hymns. There is no time I come in here, I step on that place, it's like the heavens just open and I start praying. I took that. That's an ancient pattern. I took that. That's an ancient well. It works. It always works. Workness can change. There was no technology then. There is technology now. I remember we traveled to Ibadan to go and browse. Scanning systems. I will know The only cyber cafe in the whole of Southwest Nigeria. You will see people from Unimade, Uniben, Uniport, right there. You carry it on your phone right now. Purity is still purity. Sin is still sin. Is somebody following me this evening? When Bishop was talking, I was just in tears because I know the years of sacrifice he has put to raise people like me on this soil. You know, it's a different thing. Teaching is very easy. Modeling the teaching. You know why we have a generation that abuses the church, your generation? It's because a lot of us, we heard fancy preachers and all of that. The very people who taught those messages, we could not see a semblance of what they taught in their own life, starting from your parents. Starting from your parents. That is why there is a generation right now that questions everything faith. They are also born in the church, like you and I. We saw them. I, I knew him when he was a when he was an English teacher, United Anglican Methodist. Grammar school. The school is still there. I knew when he was English teacher. I saw the way he prayed. When he became bishop, I saw the way he still praying. Who am I not to pray even much more? Ancient pattern. So the issue here is not because when I posted the flyer, one of my minister friends attacked me. Said all these ancient, ancient. Are you saying which people should go and become ancestors? Because all this amplification of ancient, 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 and all of that. Are you saying the new does not work? He told us something in the room. He said. You guys have the gift of administration. That was one thing that generation lacked. We have technology. They did not have as much. Like I taught in Akure some few months ago. Today, you don't even need to wait for God to manifest you. You can manifest yourself right from where you are right now. Right now. Leveraging technology. Right now. And you know the evil of social media. Whatever you call yourself, you are. If you wake up today and say... I'm the most sought-after Python programmer in Africa. My brother, that's where you are. But you know where you will be exposed. When you are now engaged by a data science company, okay, come and sort this data for us. <laughs> and they see that you have, uh -huh, you, now you understand the analogy of what I'm talking about. So you might master the methodology. <laughs> you can master the usage of technology. But if the pattern of old is still not there, forget it. Your embarrassment is just in the cooler, waiting for you. Read your life of death, young people. Hey, a lot of distraction in this age. Read yourself of distractions. Read yourself of sin. I won't call it another name. I will call it what the fathers called it. Sin is sin. It's an aberration. Let the world not give you a proposition that permits nonsense. People struggle with things. And you're like, how long have you been in faith? And they mention one long, and I'm like, how? What have you been taught? What have you been fed? 
Young people, wake up. Do not, at the, at the expense of converting a new experience, <laughs> discard the old patterns that has always produced results. If you want the power of God to be evident on your life, hey, give yourself to consecration. Everywhere there was a well, an altar was built. Ensure your altar is active. I'm sure my time is up. Oh, five minutes. Beautiful. An altar is a place of sacrifice. It's a place of sacrifice. We are talking about men today. Hey, I read in that same book how piety we trek from here to Eriyo Ekiti. You know how long that is? To Eriyo Ekiti, to go and disciple people that could not even understand his language. Sacrifice. It is on the wings of this sacrifice that the growth of Pentecostalism today rests on. Do not make a caricature out of it. Sacrifice. The last time I was in Mama Ruth, I asked a question. I had cameras all over the country. I asked her. So, that's a flippant question. How well does piety eat? He said, she said, food. You know how she talks? Food? He does not care about food? He only eats to stay alive? Giving to a life of perpetual fasting. And you are wondering how he operated in that level of prophetic revelation. The things he said, we cannot say. Saw my head, I was like, ah, Jesus is Lord. Let it just perish there. I remember my father says this one a lot. He said, one day he called him and he said, Ebenezer, he said, there will come a time in this country when bread we sell for one ridiculous figure, maybe five naira. It was unbelievable. Like five naira. Maybe then bread was about one couple. Just one couple was a five naira. Five? five. It was unbelievable. The last bread I brought last night <laughs> at some funny layout. I bought for five hundred naira. He talked about everything that will happen in government. But the beauty is, he was not a prophet of doom. He also told us that Nigeria, Africa is in the shape of a pistol. It's in the shape of a gun. <laughs> the horn of Africa is South Africa. Ah, the trigger is where Nigeria is. Nigeria has an apostolic responsibility to the world. It was from that prophetic utterance that my own ministry is cut from. Aside from the fact that he pronounced me to be as an entity. So you are surprised how Nigerian ministries are making waves all over the world? It has not started. They are still waiting for you. And please let me correct you. When I say ministry, I'm only using ministry as a broad context. I'm also saying industry. Ah, I did industry for a long time. I was in the corporate world for cumulative 15 good years. At management level. At management level. And sometimes you wonder, why, where is the presence of God in all of this? You see institutions and you think they are institutions on the surface. They are altars to some other kind of God. To God you don't know. And you children of light, <laughs> we carry your CV majestically and think it's about, it's about your first class. You walk into those places to go and seek for a job. And you didn't know that what you just walked into is an altar to another God. Somebody has to wake up here. Somebody has to wake up here. And ensure that your altar is potent, alive, and active, and as my friend would say, on fire. On fire. On fire. The purity of your well. Pay attention to it. The purity of your well. Everything in this age is communicated by sex. I wonder, what is the business with advertising a car with a naked woman, I will presuppose that if you are to, I mean, advertise a car to me, it should be based on the functionality of the engine, the aesthetics of the body, the comfortability of the upholstery, and every other thing you could put inside it. What relationship does a naked woman has to do? The devil is going somewhere. He's working over time. The hell, hell was prepared for him and his demons. It was not prepared for you. The only problem he has, he wants to drag a lot of people there with him. That's the problem. That's the problem. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Preserve your well. Preserve your well. When the Philistines dropped the first shovel of death, it will not be noticeable. But from that very day, that water becomes what? Contaminated. We might still be clapping for you. We might still be applauding you. We might even still be inviting you. The well is already getting contaminated. They drop the next shovel. Till there is no water anymore. Can you rise up on your feet here tonight? Can you rise up on your feet? And say, Lord, one prayer. Let my life be a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. 
Let my life be a living sacrifice. Ahaha. Oh, Rikatali, Yaramosa. When I born, let the aroma of my life be pleasing to you. A song is coming to my head. Ah, but the progression is going to be somewhere, somehow tough a bit. Is somebody praying tonight? I don't beg people to pray. I don't. I don't. If you want to look, you can look. <laughs> Death. 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 The target is the water, not the well. If it's about the well, they'll just cover it up and change the name and put soldiers there to man it. But they filled it up with death to stop the flowing of water. The target is the water within you. That is what the devil wants. Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? Is somebody praying? Haha. <laughs> if there's anything young people will struggle with in this age, it is lost of the eyes. Lost of the eyes. Lost of the eyes. In my years of counseling young people, lost of the eyes. If there's anything that will fight your consecration, lost of the eyes. Lost of the eyes. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. What key is that? Uh, I am your sacrifice. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Who is, who is leading? Who is the lead? Who is the lead? Look at me. I am your sacrifice. I am your sacrifice. Let my life be a sweet smelling flavor to your throne. I'll take it again. I am your sacrifice. I am your sacrifice. Let my life be a sweet smelling flavor to your throat. Can you pick it? Is this simple enough? Can we go now? I am your sacrifice. I am your sacrifice. Let my life be a sweet smelling flavor to your to your throne. Make me your sacrifice. Sweet smelling flavor 